Hello and welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. We are in the Mistwalt Forest chasing after bad guys. Like almost every, every episode. Oh goodness. Oh my. There's two of them. What are these things again? I fought them before, I think. They are... That's right. They're the Rhino Cider. Um... Love the plant first. And I think Estelle has a water art that she can use on the rhino. Which means. I don't want to use Shara's crafts yet because I she doesn't have any uh, CP, so I want to build a little bit of it. What if I just hit this? I don't know what the radius for that the self destruction is. That's actually one of the other reasons that I moved this star over so she can get away from it. Yeah. I'll fight this one too. These are bad. These aren't bad. Are bad. <laughs> they give pretty good experience, it seems. Yeah, indeed. Seems you came up short. So there is well there are three ways I can cross. I think they all lead to the same place. I uh, don't get away from me. Well, I don't... I don't want to continue fighting them. They're easy, but they do bring a lot of EP for me. Uh, so... I'd like to stop fighting them at some point. But that is not now. Wouldn't be so cool if they just had like set off a chain explosion. I I'm useless. Okay. okay. I could probably use Shara's art to do it because she has more EP left over. But Estelle and Josh are about to level up. I think I can get a free refill sometime. Since I have no idea where the boss is, and the experience is very good. I don't know what is it this way? Go up first. I can't rotate the camera. It looks like a boss area. Uh... Well, it looks like this is not the right place. That's north. We can go this way, I think. That thing there, which I don't want to fight. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Okay. Not this way. And 
go there. All right, let's cross this bridge. I, whoa, careful, buddy. Well, I'm guessing those three bridges are going to lead to separate exits. Uh, we'll test to see if that's indeed what happens. useful five hours ago doesn't seem to be exit here either well then that must mean can't go this way ah uh, no I didn't want to fight him I still don't want to fight him. I think I've... Yeah, I've gone that way, so this is... The bear claw here, okay. This doesn't go any... Doesn't go anywhere. an exit. Nope. Sometimes I kind of, you know, I understand that there is no map, but the encounters definitely makes it a little bit annoying. Huh? Our friend. Our sparkling friend. Or Don and Kyle. Sometimes I wonder, you know, when you, whenever you have um, JRPGs with dialogues with people's name that you haven't met, I always wonder how you know their names. Maybe they start their sentence like, "Oh, by the way, I'm Lonnie." The way you put out that act wearing school uniform is simply astounding. I am Dino. Just what you expect from the mademoiselle of an ex-aristocratic family. So she, in fact, was from a good family. Ex-aristocratic. Especially Alan. Some fighting words. She called you an idiot, Estelle. Or dimwit. One of those things. I'm not happy about it. But I... We're, we're professionals. Have to keep our emotion in check. See, they have good things to say about us. That Lyle guy seems alright. How do you know? What are you? Are you the MIT graduate? Then, what were you going to do in that hotel? 
if your subordinate is the one who's just gonna get Septium. Hahaha. <laughs> He's called Estelle a dimwit, an idiot, a bimbo, and a moron. Hey guys, well, this was awkward. Indeed. Yes, wearing that septium on her shirt is probably not the greatest idea. Walking down the road, just sparkling, flying everywhere. And it's also my understanding, thank you Joshua, that having it out like that would attract monsters. So do they not have problem with monsters, I, I wonder. I just want to be her friend. It's not looking good for the dinos. Yeah, unlike us. Let's beat him up. Apu offend. That was a pretty nice magical girl transformation. It's a boss fight, I think. Oh no. Okay, let's see what she can she do. She has soap and whip. Ah, it will eat. Supports her companion with specialty arts. They swing a dagger with poison laced blade, so they will poison. Okay. I want to get them. I don't want to send Joshua all the way out there yet, since Estelle is being targeted. Uh, she's probably the toughest one in here. I didn't check Shara, but I'm I'm just making assumptions. What I do? I could try this. Let's try this. It'd be nice if I can get her to faint. I don't know if this will work on boss characters, which I assume those set would be. But one way to find out. I, I don't want to taunt yet because I do want to get, if I taunt, I want to get all three of them. So let's use this thing that we haven't used forever. Come on. They are not doing a whole lot. Yet. Okay, I'm not worried about it anymore. You know what? Almost disappointing. Talked such a big game, couldn't follow through. Alright, 
Now let's clean up duty. Was expecting them to be a little bit stronger. I wonder if that's because I did all the side quests. If I hadn't done them, maybe I would be in a more appropriate level? I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter this one. Only thing left to do is just to get rid of them. I heal, heal anyway, so I'll kill this guy instead. Hey, Josette, how does it feel? Hey, Josette, how does it feel? Alright, let's finish this. Looks like this ain't the Royal Academy anymore. Just plug it out of her hair. Hey, that's mine. Oh no. Who's the bad guy now? Oh, she knows. I would imagine that Joshua and his star is just sitting in the back having all sorts of bad flashbacks. Braids are just scary. Our bracers are like all like this. Now you've done it. I don't know about the enjoying part. This is like a ritual. He's probably disappointed. Same color of hair, which in this game probably means they're from the same family. They're also wearing the same costume. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if she mentioned that there was Kyle and Dong. So I wonder if Dong is the person. Probably also a family member who is in the Bose region. We're running away. Well, if you are trying to give somebody payback, almost by default, that means they've won the first time. Also, kids, don't try this at home. Make sure you 
put on your seat belts. I made a new friend. If Cassius was here, this would have never happened. Well, we did get the MTM back. I. Joshua, you're scaring me. Why are you... Every single time I say something, you say the exact same thing in the next sentence. Yeah, I do wonder what are they doing here, because... That Septium... I don't think they're in it for the money. Because there's just simply other ways. So that Sepium has to have some sort of symbolic importance to them. It's gonna be a gift to Queen Elysia from the region. I don't know why they want to take that. Well, I guess, you know, it's, it is something that's probably gonna be very, very expensive. So who knows? Oh, Joshua, would you like me to demonstrate this on you like I did in episode 1? brought an armored vest next time. That's probably true. Cassius seems to be something of a legend around here. How are you careless? Yes, that's very important. Ooh. I have over 10k mirror now. Maybe I can start a business on the side. That equipment. Can I equip it into an accessory slot? I have a lot of them open. Looks like we're going to have to go on a, a little world tour then to get recommendation from all the branches. Yes, that would be 10,000 Mira, please. Thanks, Aina. Aina. Another 60 hours of road ahead of me. Sure, why not? When is he getting home? Where did he go? I don't think he's contacted us since he left. Putting, uh, uh, putting a gigantic red siren alarm thing on top of the telephone is probably not the best thing. Oh, 
Oh no, something bad has happened. No, nothing has happened. People just say that's terrible for no particular reason. Cassius is it? I still is not gonna like hearing this. Well, I'm guessing this is maybe related to Guy Pirates, the Capua family. Since when Kyle left, he mentioned that there was something big going on there. They abducted it? Abducted? Abducted? Don't say it. Please brace for yourselves. Uh, I... He is pretty old. That can mean so many things because Cassius, I don't think, is somebody who will be so easily done in because he seems so competent based on what others are talking about. But then, if he and the airship disappeared, you'd say that he might be the one who did it. He kidnapped the airship. Those mustaches are very, very suspicious, you know. Okay, we'll see you in the next episode.